Hey guys, welcome to Hillborough RC again, and today we have the Traxxas Ultimate Desert Racer, or UDR. And I have to tell you, I am super excited for this truck. It's been out a while, but this is the first time we've been able to get our hands on one, and I am probably most excited out of all the vehicles we've brought in, RC cars, I'm probably most excited for this one. So, let's not waste any time, let's look inside. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, basic Traxxas controller. <laughs> there it is. Oh man. <laughs> that thing is big. Alright you guys, there it is. <laughs> that is one of the coolest looking RC trucks I have ever seen. Basic stuff, it looks like you got some tools, basic tools. Some battery stuff, some tools, some battery foam, and the owner's manual. Look at this thing. There was a question of whether or not to go with the Losi or uh, Baja Ray or Super Baja Ray or the UDR. Let's be honest, Traxxas doesn't have the best reputation for durability, and I've kind of heard the same with this machine. And Losi's Bajas seem to be working very well, very strong, and uh, very reliable. But I could not pass up the realism of this truck. And honestly, just looking at it the way it is right in front of me, I'm glad I made this choice because that thing just looks so dang cool. I love the suspension when it goes up in the air, how the back axles drop further than the front. It's just how the real trucks do it. Look at that. Higher! Higher! <laughs> it's still landing softly. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that is so cool. I just want to play with it. Don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> as badly as I want to drive this thing, we better do the Hillbro bumper to bumper nine point inspection to make sure it's roadworthy, right? <laughs> so if you guys have ever seen this truck in real life, um, they have hit it right on the head. Even the chassis, the, the style of chassis, there's different companies out there that build the true truff, trophy truck chassis, and they copied this particular truck to a T. To the bumpers, to the suspension, to the tires, the, the angle points of the cage. Some of the obvious things we can point out, of course, the suspension, front and back dual GTR aluminum shocks. Just like the real truck, you have your Fox piggyback reservoirs, obviously not functional, your, your fire extinguishers. If you look inside, you can see the five point harnesses on the driver and the um, navigator, as well as the, the steering uh, indicator on the steering wheel, that little line in the center helps people, it helps you uh, gauge your steering wheel being centered while you're driving. The spare tires in the back, both functional, and this spare drive shaft, that's functional as well. Look at that, sweet. Batteries, that's cool, I didn't know that. You got your oil and your batteries right there. I do notice 
a little bit of spring noise. Oh, you know why? That's because that spring isn't on all the way. There, that's better. Sweet. Oh, you got a tire jack back here too. Right in there in the bumper. Little tire jack. Oh, a little radiator. And these fans work, if I remember right. Yeah, look at that, those blades are spinning. Way cool. Let's turn it over real quick. Ugh. From underneath, one of, the, one of the main details that I really like is actually the suspension uh, detail. They look, they look just like the real trophy truck, truck suspensions. Uh, the box design, instead of like your molded plastic, oh, let's just make an A-arm and make it work, you know, like any RC truck would be. Decent heavy-duty axle with limiter straps. I didn't know this thing had that either, that limiter straps. So you don't extend your shock, overextend your shock, excuse me. To get to the battery compartment, you have to hit this little uh, latch and then pull it back and then lift up. And you have access to your batteries. So this machine will run on 4S or 6S. So you can run two 2S batteries or two 3S batteries. And so you have two plug ports right here to run them. You can also run a 4S battery, but you have to use the Y uh, plug-in adapter uh, because you have to have both these plugs plugged in at the same time. So. Warning, have as much fun as you can. That's what it says. Some other really close details is the disc brakes. If you can see, they spin inside the calipers. That's pretty cool. Oh, as you compress the shocks, this is pretty basic with uh, all the trucks, but we got a little body hit right there. Probably have to trim that just a little bit. From my understanding also, you want to put tapes in the wheel wells of these bodies because these uh, wheels will come up and rub on the body and just wear the paint from underneath. So there's a couple little things you want to do. You want to grease the axles, you want to grease the differentials, you want to tape the bodies. A couple little things you want to do before you run it just for uh, preventative maintenance help it last longer, run better, so. One more time. <laughs> that is cool. That is way fun. Wow. <laughs> that thing's big. Want the weight and the girth.
guys, this truck is a blast. I, I love the way the suspension works. It goes over the bumps and the jumps and articulates just like the real trucks. I can't wait to do more videos of this thing at the sand dunes, in the desert, in the forest, in the urban ridings, in the cities. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna do some really good videos. If you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe, like the videos, comment below, hit the little bell button for your notifications whenever we upload a new video. Also, you guys, if you're interested in seeing any of these real machines run, these Wildcat double axes and the YZ Turbo, check out Hillbro on YouTube. We do a lot of fun videos jumping these things. It's always fun here at Hillbro. And remember, guys, it's out there, so go claim it.